All South Easterners are hyper agitators, but living in pretense. The Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi confirmed it yesterday by backing IPOP terrorist group prescribed by Nigerian government. Kaduna Governor Erofai says, Niger Twist News report. <laughs> oh my God, Peter Obi shocked them yesterday. The truth has to be told. You understand? All this why we are hiding under the truth, covering the, the truth. He just said the truth. And because of ego or whatever, these people do not want to accept it. I love what Sanusi said. He said Nigerian government was in a hurry to prescribe uh, freedom fighters. You understand? I pop agitators. But it took them time to prescribe terrorists. That is bandits who are fighting in the, in the northern region who had made life unbearable for them. We have few people in that region that can speak the truth. Every other person, they just, this one, not my region. This one, you not going to sign me. Now, uh, NASA, Aerofy, don't they include all of them as agitate, Biafra agitators? Because uh, Peter Obi said yesterday that the IPOB members are not terrorists. You understand? He said the federal government was so quick in prescribing them. They are, they are freedom fighters. He said he did not support it. And he, he doesn't see them as a, a terrorist group because they are not. These are people he live with. These are people he see every day. These are people he, 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 he pass every day, anytime he's passing. And he, do, he does not see them as a threat to his life or whatsoever. I wish Governor Hoposodema cannot hear this. Because that one, he will see anybody when two or three persons went gather. Uh, a bubagu don't go kill them, say, then the whole meeting for Biafra or whatever. We just have to tell ourselves the truth because it's only the truth that will set us free. Now he's not asking Nigerians to be careful about Peter Obi. So make make Nigerians not go vote for Peter Obi. He go come hand over Nigeria to Biafra, uh, uh, Biafra Nation Abi. Okay. What about Atiku Abubaka? Because it's really very surprising that nobody talks about these northerners who are contesting. And in the north, we have bandits. In the north, we have um, a Boko Haram and Fulani Hezmen, all these, you know, deadly groups, a gang or whatever. They are there, stationed in the north. Now, these people save nine Nigerians, supposed to they fear where we because they are threats to the country. But funny enough, the government do not see them as a threat. It's really very funny. They are not, as far as Nigeria is concerned, um, the government do not see them as a threat. You get. That is why they do whatever they are doing and they will get away with it. The government have to be told the truth. Okay, they have to be told the truth. If all these Southeast leaders, because some of them, they know, all of them, they know the truth, but they are just pretending. They just want to please the government and whatsoever. They know that what the government did was really very, very wrong. They were so fast in doing that. People were agitating. The only way, the only way they would have, you know, stolen their heart is you call them. You sit down and discuss with them. Let me listen to you. What do you want? You people will talk. Then, okay, this is the problem. Okay, let's see what we can do concerning this. We can stay as we can be together as one Nigeria. You understand? But you want to use force. And now, since when did they use force now? Waiting, they don't achieve. They continue to enter wahala, wahala, wahala. They deep inside it. That is why we are seeing where we are today. We are seeing where we are right now because the government took the wrong step 
and they acted. Well, yesterday, the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, forced the federal government uh, prescription of the indigenous people of Biafra as terrorist group. While speaking on, channel, on Channel's television, Peter Obi said that IPOB is not a terrorist organization. None are. Neither his members are terrorists. Sahara reporters states that the Anambra state governor said the only thing he disagrees with is naming IPOB terrorists. They are not terrorists. Those who took the decision may have information that he does not have. He said he stayed in our nature and he can tell anybody that they are people he pass on the road every day. Peter Obi further said that he communicates he communicates and lives with them and he had never felt threatened or molested from them even when they are gathering. The Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, you know, has been making a great impression on Nigerians ever since he announced that he's running for presidency in 2023 general elections. Meanwhile, his opponents have been looking for one way or the other just to discredit him because they want him out of the way. But Nigerian youth, mostly Nigerian youth, are really hard for this. They said it's Peter Obi they want. Today, the governor of Kaduna State is now telling telling us that all sorts of Easterners are uh, hyper agitators. They are living in pretense. So if they vote Peter Obi in tomorrow, he might he might hand over Nigeria government to Biafra Nation. Is that his fear? My people, make a drop on for you. Kindly share your thoughts with me.